we're now into uh, into spring 2023 and things are happening in the fields we've seen people out putting um, early nitrogen applications on oilseed rape crops when it comes to foliar nutrition then for me i'd like to see a little bit more growth um, as you can see from this plant this is just one example we've got quite a bit of dead leaf uh, due to the cold weather we had in december um, the growing point is there once we start to see this uh, th this growing point and the green leaf around it grow then we can think about our foliar nutrients uh, as ever if we want to maximize our nitrogen use efficiency we need to think more than just nitrogen and sulfur we need to think micronutrients with micronutrients and oilseed rape we think of things like boron which helps with a strong plant and stem structure uh, things like molybdenum which can help preventing um, things like whiptail uh, and ma magnesium is also a key nutrient a particular demand for magnesium as the crop gets taller the one thing we've seen from working in the yen project is that crops that have sufficient nutrition go on to yield the highest that's why we recommend a multi-nutrient product yara vita brassitrol pro applied at three liters a hectare at the onset of rapid stem extension and we've seen in trials that that gives 0.27 tons a hectare yield increase and outperforms applying straight nutrients like Bortrac. The cost of that will need around 30 to 40 kilograms a hectare of extra yield to pay for it. So in the grand scheme of growing a crop, it's a very small investment to make. 